Matt, the, the common shares of Fannie Mae, which are trading over the counter right now, they've been in the news a lot la lately for some of the huge gains they've had. Over the last couple of days, though, it's been down. What's going on out there? What's kind of the change in sentiment there? It's not just been down. It's been crushed over the past two days. So we're looking at about a, a somewhere in, in the range of a 40% decline over two days. That's normal. That's Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I think part of this is driven by the fact that, that as I've gone over uh, time and again on these Fannie Mae shares, and again, we're talking about FNMA. These are the over-the-counter common shares of Fannie Mae. It's it's a speculative investment. There are so many, there's so many different factors at play here that have to go right for investors, for, for this to work out in investors' favor. And so when you have a speculative investment like this, that's sort of on a, a foundation of sand as opposed to a foundation of, of concrete or, or steel, mm -hmm. um, when anything starts to spook investors at all, I think you'll see a, a mass uh, exodus, a run for the doors. And I think you're seeing a little bit of that over the last two days here. Could it bounce back? Could this eventually be a, a successful speculation? Sure, but a successful speculation is still a speculation. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in more concrete news, uh, we saw some, some reports today about uh, Bob Corker and Mark Warner in Congress uh, talking about potentially introducing a bill that would indeed wind down Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uh, and replace them with some new uh, government entity that mm -hmm. would take their place uh, in the housing market. This has been the concern all along. So essentially, under this conservatorship, the idea is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are in conservatorship. Their responsibilities to the government, and as far as the future goes, it all depends on what the government decides mm -hmm. they want to do with these two entities, and that you know, decision-making process could include getting rid of them altogether. And so this is the type of bill. It may not be the bill that, that actually goes through. This may not, this probably not, in fact, mm -hmm. at the end of the story. But it shows that there still is movement in that direction of getting rid of them altogether. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that I always come back to is when we look at what does Washington want to do with, with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and I think everyone kind of agrees that there does need to be some changes or the government wants to make some changes. This isn't just a Democrat thing or Republican thing. Everyone's kind of looking at this saying, yeah, we, we sh probably shouldn't have our hand this much in the housing market and let's try to figure out a way. So if I was to speculate, which I don't want to do and I wouldn't encourage investors to do, it wouldn't be on something that both Democrats and Republicans agree that should be done in the Yeah, imagine run. that, finding something that Democrats and Republicans can agree on. And this happens to be one of those <laughs> things. Um, and and just, as, just as one one other side note here, because in terms of Fannie Mae uh, being in the news, I know a lot of investors have heard about hedge funds taking positions uh, in, in Fannie Mae shares. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember that those are typically preferred shares. That, that, that those hedge funds are going into, including Bruce Berkowitz. Mm -hmm. um, it was just announced that he took a big position in Fannie Mae preferred shares. I still see that as pretty speculative, but it's another rung above uh, where we're at in terms of the over-the-counter common shares. Okay. All right, moving on.